is Gabby Friends. Welcome back to my channel. Virginia here and today I want to share with you a project that I created for the design team of Fantasia di Carta. And if I may say it, I'm very satisfied <laughs> with the result. I really like it. As you can see, it's a mini album in the shape of a lemon. I created it using the lovely Golden Road collection by One Canon 2 uh, for American crafts. And I used uh, pattern paper, die cuts, cardstock stickers, and puffy stickers. Now, one of the icons which appear here and there in the patterns of this collection um, is a lemon or a lime, like in this paper. And this inspired me uh, to create a lemon shaped album as you can see. Uh, now, I made it in such a way uh, that you can keep it closed uh, so that it looks like uh, half a lemon and secured with a ribbon. Uh, but you can also open it up this way and leave it open. I think it's very nice. And you, as you can see now, it's a shape of, um, of a lemon of a cut lemon. Of course, if you decide to keep it this way, uh, you don't need the ribbon, so you can take it off. It is just attached to the central stitch. Uh, for the cover, I used a cut file, which I designed myself in the uh, Silhouette Studio software, and I cut with my machine. I just designed the shape of the cut lemon uh, with all the slides. I attached the elements of the lemon shape with adhesive foam to give dimensions to my project. Um, and then I glued this yellow pom-pom trim all around the circular border. And I think this is a very fun element. Finally, I sewed the pages and the cover together throughout the diameter so that the pages can be opened as in a book. And I also added to the edges these two little tassels which are just fun details. So now I'm going to flip through the album because I want to show it to you. Uh, but first I would like to point out uh, that I created the, the, the title using the thicker cardstock words included in the Golden Road collection. So let's go on and have a look inside. Uh, I packed the, the album with photos, I embellished it um, as I liked, but of course this is supposed to be just uh, an inspiration for you, then you can adapt everything to your personal taste. So you can see I backed all my pictures with pattern paper or the same collection or uh, um, plain cardstock in green or yellow. I used a lot of die cuts, puffy stickers, uh, which I love. And uh, this little tag here uh, is, is included in uh, one of the papers, this one uh, with cut paper elements. I'm actually looking for it to show it to you. And here it is. So uh, let's move on. Here we have more die cut shapes, uh, puffy stickers. And these floral stickers, which are quite beautiful as well. And you can see that here, to make the album more varied, I cut the edge in the shape of a wave instead of leaving it straight. And I think the effect is very nice. Now, since I put in a lot of stuff, my album has become a bit chunky. So in order to flip through it more easily, I can close the pages on the other half this way. For this page, I used uh, um, die cut shape, uh, all these flowers, very beautiful. I love also the patterns. Here as well, I cut the border, and this time I made a tiny scalloped edge. This page, I backed the, the photo with pattern paper, and I left uh, the branding strip, which has uh, strawberry patterns, which I like. And then I added more stickers. So here below, uh, including an interactive element, this card, uh, which I can flip open, and a sentence on the two sides. And below, uh, there is space for journaling. I have created a very fancy border here. Uh, for this, I used uh, a border punch. I really like it. Next page, more lovely patterns, 
die cuts and of course puffy stickers and now this is the center of the album uh, which is also its back um, when you keep the album open that is why i didn't glue anything on this page and i just showcased this lovely pattern paper so let's turn it around and go on with the other half of the lemon on this first page uh, for the title, I used some of the secrets words that I showed you before. Uh, this is a tag uh, included in the elements of the cut-apart sheet. I used more puffy stickers, strawberries, flowers, etc. Uh, next page, this title is a sticker and these flowers come from the beautiful pattern paper that I used for the back. I fussy cut some of those flower and, uh, flowers and glue them here. On the bottom half, I used the various little images, which I backed with pattern paper or cardstock, and then some die cuts, which have gold foiling actually, so they are shiny. This sunk is the stickers as well as gold foiling. Use more puffy stickers, and actually these puffy stickers are very soft, they feel very smooth. And so I love it. Here are the scalloped edge. Uh, here you can see I added a half, uh, an half circle of pattern paper because I like the effect of having two layers of pattern paper. And uh, here I have uh, included a journaling spot which I cut out from the cut apart sheet. And I added flowers all around. I really love this fancy border. Here I use this lovely typewriter shape, then uh, uh, fruit shaped stickers, etc. And this is the last page. So let's turn it back. And uh, now, as I said before, uh, we can choose to keep the album open this way. Or if you prefer to make it more compact, you can go for the half lemon and tie the ribbon. So let's make a bow. And here it is. I really hope that you like this mini album. And actually, I hope that you were inspired to make one yourself. By the way, I plan uh, to make more mini album in the future. So I would like to know whether you would like me to show you the whole making process and not just the flip through. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe and share. You will have new content every week. Thank you very much again and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.